Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we are going to solve question number one of weekly contest 460. Maximum median sum of subsequences of size 3. And we are able to solve this problem. Okay, so let's read the problem statement. You are given an integer array nums with the length divisible by 3. Okay, you want to make the array empty in steps. In each step, you can select any three elements from the array. You have to compute their median and remove the selected elements from the array. Okay, the median of an odd length sequence is defined as the middle element of the sequence when it is sorted in non decreasing order. Okay, and we have to return the maximum possible sum of the medians computed from the selected elements. Okay. So this problem is actually very easy. I'm not going to say that this is of medium level. Let's understand. Okay, with an example here. All right. So this is your nums array, right? Okay. So if you uh, here, let's do one thing. You know? Let's sort this. Why I'm going to do the sorting? Let me tell you. Okay. So after sorting, we have elements like this: one, one, two, two, and three, three. Okay. So he, from here, see, uh, this nums. Okay, the length is divisible by 3. Okay, so if it is divisible by 3, right now uh, the total length is 6. Okay, and if I divide this 6 with 3, I am going to get 2 groups. Okay, 2 groups. So I can form 1 set of 3 and 1 set of 3. Right? I can form this. Right? 1 set of 3 and 1 set of 3. Okay, now here it is saying that the median of an order length sequence is defined as the middle element of the sequence when it is sorted in non decrease order and we have to return the maximum possible sum. Okay, we have to return the maximum possible sum. So from here, what I can do, I can pick this one smaller and then I need the max element. Okay, for the median, okay, three, three elements will be there. Okay, and this will be in increasing order. Median is going to be this one. Okay, so I want this to be max. Okay, I want this element to be max. Okay, so I want to be a little bit greedy here. So if I'm choosing here and here I need the max element and after that also I need one more element. So I can do one thing, you know? I can select this then i can select this okay then after that i can select this so one group that i'm going to form is one three three okay so here see this three is a max okay this is a max that i can choose right same way again i am going to start from here okay and here i have used this i have used this i have used this okay so now i'm left with these two okay so here i'm going to use this then this and then this that's it okay so here if you see the mid elements are 3 and 2 okay 3 plus 2 is 5 that's it this is your output okay that is why sorting is important okay and we have to be become little bit greedy okay in choosing the elements all right so now here see this is example number two again total three groups uh, or total two groups are there right six divided by three two okay so here also one okay then just pick here pick here okay just pick this all right then here start here pick this and pick this okay that simply means this one okay so 10 plus 10 20 all right so from here if you notice these two examples okay so first time uh the uh, the total number groups is two okay so we have to choose two elements so i can do one thing now i can choose first this and then this okay so there is one gap okay i i'm going to start from here okay because one element smallest one then it is going to max and then after that i need one more element okay that's why i'm choosing this okay next time if i start from here this then this and then this okay so here if you see every time for the first case also there is one gap here okay for the second case also there is one gap here okay so first i'm choosing this then i'm choosing this okay same way here first i'm going to choose this and then i'm going to choose this okay so this is the pattern i need to follow okay right and here these are the constants okay so now you can uh, start writing the code by yourself what you need to do calculate the total length of this number of groups you can form okay get that value and then pick this value first add it to sum okay the value at n minus 2 then after that subtract n by 2 okay n is equal to uh, n minus 2 subtract it okay and then pick this value and then add it to sum okay so now i'm moving to the code part okay so here see what you need to do first just sort the array if it is not sorted okay sort the array to easily access the largest elements then the total sum is zero initially you have to calculate the total length of this nums array and number of groups okay number of triplets possible now we have to pick the second largest element from each triplet okay 
so here i'm just going to simply run one while loop okay while groups is greater than zero total sum is good total sum plus nums of n minus two at the median of the current triplet okay then n is equal to n minus two move two positions left for the next triplet and groups minus minus okay how many groups in the end just return the total sum okay the time complexity for this one is going to be of n log n because of this step and here we are just running it for number of groups okay but basically uh, the time capacity depends on this arrays dot sort okay so i hope that you guys are able to understand question number one of weekly contest 460 if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing we'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye